you, my fellow cheated hearts of New York City. Good news, the blizzard's finally stopped. But the weatherman says there's a rainstorm coming. Just what we need, some good old fashioned New York rain. So close your windows, lock your doors, wrap up warm and settle in for another evening with me, Kenna Martin, exclusively here on BC 304 FM. I'll be taking you all through the night and right up to the graveyard shift, because who ever heard of employment laws, huh? So to kick things off with a personal favorite of mine, here's Forever by Nervous Test Pilot. It stopped snowing days ago. I ran out of excuses not to go and see him. I don't want to think about this. Sure, I could use a shower. There's something in amongst the fronds. I should get it free sometime. Playing a game would be perfect about now. If only I could concentrate. I'd prefer to leave it on. I like the ambiance. Well, shit. It's locked. I don't recall locking it. In fact, I don't recall it ever having a key. I don't feel like calling anyone, but I suppose I should listen to the messages. You have two new messages. First new message received today at 1.18 p.m. Congratulations. You have won tickets to the Krennic on Thames Museum's latest exhibit. Straight from the catacombs of Augur Peak, this is a once-in-a-lifetime chance to... Tickets to an English museum? This is New York, kids. Not interested. Message deleted. Second new message received today at 6.29 p.m. Hi, Alex. The NIST just told me you'd been in. Should have let me know. I'd have made sure I was here. It's been a while. I'm sure your dad appreciates it, love. You know he'd tell you that himself if he could. Call me on my cell when you get this. Goodbye. Love you. Bye. End of final message. I didn't call, Mom, because I knew you would be there, and I couldn't do it if you were. I don't know why. Please don't hate me. Ah, screw it. I'll call her in the morning, right? Right. God damn it. Talking to myself. My therapist says it's my desire for an audience, for company. I say it's because I constantly feel like I'm being watched. There's something behind the radiator. Maybe I can reach it. Ah, got it. A parcel I hadn't opened yet. Let's see. A DVD of Strangers on a Train. I bought this for Gavin. Uh, Washington Square back Park behind the radiator it goes. A long animated conversation with herself, apparently. Nobody. Power on. Good idea. Mm, just my scribblings. Can barely even read it. Now nah, I'm sure it's here for a reason. Right. Let's do this. Oh look, drama as my favorite reviewer gives a game a low score. Whatever, I've always loved his writing. Very personable, makes me feel like I know the guy. Oh well, no time for that now. Gotta track my package. It has to be here today. Of course, I had to change all my regular passwords. Gavin knew them. God damn it, what did I use here? I think I wrote it down somewhere. When I was drunk. Oh, yeah. Probably do an upgrade. They say PC gaming is an expensive hobby. It's not. Unless you're broke. Which I am. Ah, here it is. I think.
I've already read it. Twice, because that's how exciting my life is. While I've always been tempted to put it in the microwave, I think I'll leave it here for now. I've grown attached to the little guy. I call him Sam. There's something stuck up by the light bulb. I might be able to fish it out. Ah, got it. A parcel I hadn't opened yet. Let's see. A ten-foot extendable ladder with stand and carry case. I'll just put it back. I'd rather leave the lamp alone. An unremarkable desktop lamp. Probably do an up and... I've already read it. Park the other day when I saw a woman having a having a having a long animated conversation with herself. my mom gave me this when I moved here. Nobody else around. Gavin had to fix one of the legs really a few months ago. With oh God, never mind. Like me too, it houses older, a bunch of old games magazines, last Tuesday's copy of the paper, is. and an when ashtray. What a life! If I was drinking coffee instead. or felt like reading, so then maybe. But I don't, so no. I'm pretty hungry, but I'll grab dinner in a bit. Got things to do first. The kitchen. I'm not actually a bad cook, I just usually can't be bothered. My DVD collection. I'm not a huge movie buff. Gavin was. Is, though. I think a few of these are his. I should probably give them back soon. My trusty portable radio. These days, it gets a lot of use. The writer walks the shores where love inscribed its final kiss. Time to read, Alex. Let's do this then. I haven't thought about this book in years. I doubt it's the one. I'm saving it for a special occasion. I can't face the shame of seeing the due date. Since I haven't read it, it's probably not this one. By applying the principles of objectivism to this, I can discern it isn't the book I'm after. I'd love to sit down and read this, but nah. As shown in Horowitz's 2003 essay, This is the Wrong Book, this is the wrong book. It could be this one. I should double-check the title. Louis Cassell's The Charnel House Burial. My prized first edition copy. The one memento from Gavin I'll never get rid of. Oh, Cassell. You are a strange and troubled man. I wonder whatever happened to you. For your graduation. I hope there will always be room in your spectacular mind for me. You are my island. Love you forever and always, Gavin. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. Cassell famously became a hermit while writing this book. The island he moved to was called Augur Peak. I remember now. Augur Peak 1318. I resent having to pay special delivery for train tickets, but I need them today. The next train is in for two weeks. I can't wait that long. What? The site says it was delivered and signed for. I don't recognize that signature, and even I would have remembered signing for it today. It looks like it says Benwood or something? What? Well, great. Fucking perfect. I need those tickets. Maybe it's a mistake. Maybe they'll still come. Maybe the website's fucked. It's too late to call them now. What else can I do but wait? Now it's storming. And this is going to be fun making my way to the station by midnight. I'm not being sarcastic. 
I just want the tickets to get here. Guess I'd better find a way to spend my evening then. I don't feel like playing a game, so maybe a DVD is in order. Might make a change. Looking outside, it seems like the storms hit a little early, New York. Rain, thunder, lightning, the works. Hmm, it can't be locked. It doesn't even have a keyhole. Uh, it must be jammed. I think I can jimmy it open with something, if I can find something that'll fit. If I was drinking coffee, or thought I don't. I'm not reaching. Nah, let's not get sidetracked with minor things like asthma. I'm saving it for a special. Special Topics in Calamity Physics by Marisha Pessel. The only time I've wanted to slap and hug the main character at once. Good book. By applying the print. Ayn Rand's Atlas Shrugged. A beautiful novel by an author whose beliefs I totally agree with. Just kidding. Rand was a fucking troll. I only bought this thing because of Bioshock. There's nothing useful in there, I'm pretty sure. There's something in amongst the fronds. I should get it free sometime. Ah, got it. A parcel I hadn't opened yet. Let's see. So You Want to Give Up Smoking, a self-help book by I. Burnett. Kinda wish I hadn't found this now. I'll just put it back where it was. I don't really want to wear a coat in I've got no desire to go out. Unfortunately, Gavin took all the cutlery with him, so I'm having to make do with brittle plastic crap. It won't be any use. The more I think about that, the more it pisses me off. Who takes the fucking forks when they go? Seriously. The kitchen. I'm- It's a novelty phone. Gavin got it for me. It looks like a crow. My DVD collection. I think My I think I can jimmy it open with something. And I say to them, guys, you get the same pay packet as me. Do you think I can afford I'm not. a vacation? I think they're just trying to get rid of me. I'm joking, of course, to all the wonderful people at BCG. You know what? I think this little guy's tail would fit in the gap. This idea is so stupid that it might just work. I think I can jimmy it open with something. Here goes. It fits perfectly. Ah, oh, shit. The tail's just snapped off. Well, this was one of my better ideas, wasn't it? Fuck's sake. Oh. I'm not closing it again after all that. I'm not closing. Right. Let's see what we have here. Photo of me and Gavin. It's broken. I put it here out of the way. And here are the DVDs. Don't really care what I watch. I'll just stick some crappy horror on. What's up? Oh, really? That's brilliant. Oh, thanks so much. Thank you. That was Rob, my neighbor from the apartment down the hall. He has my package. The delivery man signed it and left it with him. He's bringing it over now. I'm just... Shit. I'm doing this. I have to get ready. Shit. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what now, Rob? Forgotten where I live? Th 
Hello? Yes, this is Alex Davenport speaking. I... Thank you. I can't breathe. I can't fucking breathe. Alex, Jesus, how bad is this storm? Oh, hey, are you all right? I'm fine, thanks. Fine. I just had a bit of bad news. I'll, I'll be fine. Sorry, Rob. Ah, oh, God, Gavin again? Nah, nothing to do with him this time. <laughs> Sorry. It'll be all right. I, I just need to sort some stuff out. Bad times. You know how it is. Hey, look, thanks for bringing this over. You sure? No, yeah, seriously, I'll be fine. Thanks, Robert. You only call me Robert when you're not okay, Al. I know you like your own company, but seriously, you know where I am if you need me. Yeah, I do. And honestly, honestly, tomorrow you're going to have me sniveling on your doorstep begging you to listen, but right now I just need... I just need... No, it's okay, Al. Take all the time you want. Wait, I won't be here tomorrow. Sorry, Rob, I'll call you. Please don't worry about me. I don't want to think about anything right now. The days are endless. I need to get ready to leave. There's always tomorrow. I'll call Mom tomorrow, too. Outside, the city begins to withdraw. A siren sounds in the night, blue light reflecting on brickwork as tireless paramedics rush to the scene of another trauma. On the pavement below, a woman hurries home, casting furtive glances over her shoulder as she pulls her coat tight around herself, the rain beating patterns on the fabric. A car drives past, music disturbing the peace. The woman looks at the man in the car. He turns the music down, calls something out as he passes. I see the woman start to walk faster. She flinches at the thunder. The car drives off. Another set of sirens now. Somewhere in the distance, the city is drowning. This is where we live. This is our world. Ebb and flow, endless, forever. It's the perfect time for loneliness. The perfect time to indulge the selfish, petulant monologues of the dispossessed. But sometimes it's just like this, you know? Sometimes we can't help it. Sometimes we don't want to go out and hang out with your friends. Sometimes we don't want to talk. Sometimes we just want to wallow. You don't know me. You never fucking knew me. Go fuck yourself, you judgmental, self-righteous prick. Cat, I'll see you soon. Thank <laughs> you.